welcome to the Kieran Show HR. This is your performance review. Mine or yours? Both. This is our performance review for the last year. So in the nicest possible sense. Yeah, this is <laughs> we don't we're not cool enough to employ a HR department yet. No, I think we're we're I, our I, own. I think we are. I think it's our partners. Yeah, we're our own HR department and by extension our partners and they tell us why are you talking about a little plastic man on the internet? Yeah, for sure. So it's a weird bone of contention, but it's one nonetheless. Um, yeah, we've been doing this for a whole year now, which is mad. Yeah, and we've painted a lot of stuff in that time for personal and... Yeah. YouTube? Loads of challenges. If you consider what challenges we've done, two combat patrols each, Leviathan, um, a whole Necron army... Boarding uh, actions. Boarding action. Um, that was like the, the biggest one we did. Boarding yeah. actions. And Advent, then, and Advent, then Advent, Advent challenge as yeah. well. We painted an insane amount of, mo- of models just for this. Yeah, and you throw Crazy. into the into that uh, backlog, <laughs> which yeah. is yeah for growing sure. exponentially. It's um, been it's been a wild ride. Um, yeah, essentially in this video we wanted to sort of have a bit of a deep dive, not necessarily like what you should and shouldn't do within the first year of you doing a YouTube channel, but maybe uh, an insight and some of the lessons that we've learned and things we've enjoyed, but ultimately um, a moment to reflect, which I think yeah. is like a nice, wholesome video to start the year, which is nice. Yeah, I think for... Shut up. <laughs> anybody, that, anybody that's thinking of doing anything like this, I mean, we're mm. still pretty new. Um, yeah. So, I mean, there's, there's countless videos out there by your big YouTubes that have gone, oh, this is talking about YouTube, but I think... One from the perspective of someone that's still small time, yeah, is quite is 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 a good idea. Yeah, um, jumping straight in, what are the things that you wish you'd known when we started? I could do two hours on this. <laughs> <laughs> so when we when we started, I think I I was like, oh, this will augment my hobby time. Um, I can just mm. paint things as and when, and I can just do it in videos. Like you know, it'd be easy. Um. I didn't know that my actual hobby time was going to get reduced so much um, and get stuck painting things that I truthfully didn't want to paint, um, but I had fun doing them anyway. Um, yeah, and mm. the editing takes a long time. So yeah. I've got an IT background. I work at, that's, that's my day job. And I've also, got, I've also done video editing years and years ago. Um, so I guess I had like a... A leg up when we started. Yeah, yeah. But it's the it, but it's the time. Um, the That's worst, right. the worst bit, and will always be the worst bit for me, is editing myself. I hate it. I hate my own voice mm. when I have to edit it, and then I'm, I look at myself and I'm like, "What on earth are you waffling on about? I wouldn't watch you. <laughs> You're just talking. Nothing. Nothing is happening. Just vomit is coming out of your mouth. Be quiet." <laughs> Yeah, I think that that's my biggest takeaway is how much time um, and how vested you get. So when we started, we were always like, yeah. this has to be fun. And it is fun. Yeah. But that fun comes at a cost. A cost. Yeah, it really um, does. It's the amount of time that you spend making the this content is absolutely insane. And I think my respect for full-time content creators has skyrocketed. Within the first month, we were like, oh. Oh, this is... This is it. This is yeah, everything. It is, it's, yeah, it's it's not just doing the thing. It's like Kieran puts in an insane amount of time editing. It's crazy. It's like it's utterly mind blowing. But then also like it's the amount of prep work we both do beforehand as well. Yeah, like the, like when we've done yeah. we've recently done a few uh, two thousand point army costs. Mm. Those take a good hour or two hours. Yeah. And to be fair, half of that is fighting the Games Workshop store to let you look at it in another bloody currency. Uh, that, that's true. Yeah. And to be fair, that, that's probably like an easier example of what we've done behind the scenes as well, which is ludicrous. I think the the one thing that I can't, I, I just can't get over is how much of a different beast YouTube is as a platform. Yeah. So when we started, this is quite, this is quite a cool segue into Instagram. So when we started, you were... Uh, I think you just crossed ten k on Instagram uh, at the start. Yeah, maybe. Something or like that. crossed during it, something, something like that. Um, and we naively thought, like, oh, you've got a uh, a small platform there. 
Mm. There'll be some bleed through. Nothing. <laughs> I mean, to, to, to be fair, over the last year, there probably has been some. Yeah. It's minimal. Yeah, really. Which is minimal. nice for us that it's all come from YouTube. I think what is funny as well is how, when, especially when we first started, we're like, oh, this will land. This will be so good. And we'll get thousands of views. Not once. Kieran, my big, I was, I was, my, yeah, you're going to tell them. You're gonna... My <laughs> biggest contention, right, is that. So we did them at the same time. We did the Tyranid video and the Space Marine Army Cost videos. They took so long to edit, mm -hmm. getting the background off all the pictures, putting them down, making the, you know, the flash ups for the cost and all the different locales, getting the snazzy tables. They took hours and hours. We had a what was it, like a fifteen minute chat about Old World just before you left, <laughs> and then that blew up, blew up a little bit. And I was yeah. just like. I was like John Travolta, right. like, why are you watching this uh, nonsense video? And it was out of nothing as well. I just went, oh, it was really relevant. I think a lot of people are really going to be into this. Do you want to make a video? And you were like, oh, really? Yeah. And I was like, yes. And it turns out, people really like Old World. <laughs> well, I don't know whether they like it. It's very, uh, very contentious. Yeah, there's the people are split. The people are split. There is definitely a political divide between... Mm. Old World fans and Sigma fans and everything in between. Right, what's been your favourite moment of YouTube so far? What's the highlight? That is a crazy, crazy question. Um, I really enjoy... It's a loaded question because if you don't say spending the time with me, then we're absolutely going to divorce. Well, I was going to say, it's, <laughs> it's nice having that, um, that structure, I think, like where we're just like, what video are we doing next? And it's yeah. never like... If, so, for example, if we get really into making a video and then it will go, it, it's, we spend loads of time uh, planning it and then making it, then editing it and all the rest when it goes out and it flops. And that's happened on more than one occasion. Um, Underworld. We, we don't... Oh, crikey. So, <laughs> uh, we'll talk about uh, the Poor Hammer podcast and the really, really nice element yeah. to YouTube and the community side shortly. Um but yeah, when so for example, when a video flops and it doesn't do as well as we might have wanted it to, or whatever, we don't ever get hung up. It's just like, what are we doing next? Yeah, it's... that's that's really fun, and it's not like, oh well, this could have been really great or whatever. Like it's it's never like that. It's like, well, we know for next time this might might not be the best idea, so long as we're having fun, and that's been the the sole focus since the beginning. Um, that's yeah. been the best bit, I think. Just as a segue from that, I think if you're start if you're debating starting a channel and you hear all these horror stories that all oh, these videos didn't land, they might not land then, but they might later on. Yeah, so that's weird. The YouTube algorithm is a whole weird beast that your old videos can get traction out of nowhere. So they might not start off very well. Um, you might not be a flop in the first week, and you write it off, and then further down the line, it gets picked up on the on the algorithm, and then you know. Yeah, you're not in control. It's you have to. It's not. It's not like Instagram where it's like one shot done. That photo, if it mm. didn't do well, it's never going to do well. YouTube is, your video from a year ago, mm. can still do well. Yeah. Um. So I think not getting hung up on that. I That's think it. we've had to have no. This is a bank of content. When when people watch the video, if they want more, there is. There's there's the there's stuff to watch. There. Um. Yeah. And the biggest example for that is leading into the. Amazing shout out we got from the Poor Hammer podcast, which yeah. was I, I was a fan girl. I was like, oh, I listen to these guys. They know who I am. <laughs> that was that was utterly mind blowing because I think you found out the evening before while you were in the gym, yeah. and I found out the morning after after I'd got home from the gym in the morning, and you were like, oh my god, what the hell is going on? And I was like, sorry. And then yeah, yeah as soon as I started listening, I was like, what? People know who we are, um, and yeah. that's been the nicest thing. And everybody that watches and subscribes to us and likes and comments all the time or whatever, like we can't thank you enough. And truthfully, having you either in our Discord or in forever in our comments or giving us feedback or just being like, "Hey, the video was great. Love you. Absolutely love you." Because that's exactly why we do it. And I it's... don't get any of the feedback. You get it all. No, you get it in our Discord and you get it on the YouTube comments. Yeah, whereas you get like people like you'll send you a message, oh, your new video is really cool, and then they're like, John Travolta. <laughs> what about my video? <laughs> yeah, so uh, admittedly, that's when the Instagram platform does come up clutch. I'll yeah. Admit. But um, it is a great time. The next elephant in the room, and I think it's one that everybody will always get hung up on with YouTube, and that is monetization. Yeah. That's... Wow. 
so complicated. Oh, it's I mean, the worst. Just just to preface, we did get monetized this year, which was an amazing achievement. Because um, we were gassed when it happened. We were gassed when it happened, but it takes for us it did yeah so long from when you get that really cool email that you're eligible for it to actually getting a payment and then you find out how much the monetization is worth <laughs> and then you're like i think i worked it out at one point i think i was get we were getting like a pound a video it is exactly it's like it's a tiny bit better now and obviously like it works the bigger your youtube channel is and you understand why content creators can eventually become full time but in the space of our year which has been very small in the grand scale, uh, scale of things. Yeah. Um, yeah, we're nowhere near that point yet. Nowhere near. No, so it's, it's just if you if you if yeah. you are thinking of just just to shatter all of your expectations of YouTube, the you know you see all these big people that aren't full time with it. It takes ages. It takes ages. Yeah. Uh, when we're, we're nowhere near that. We're not. We're never even doing. Well, we're two people. Um, yeah, exactly. So, but like, please don't let that discourage you either. Like, you I, have to have fun. Yeah, that's, and you that's have it. to go into it not going, "I want this to be my job," or "I want to," or "I want to be a sensation." You have to go. I think that can be the dream. Like, that it's, it's important to have that goal and ambition, but you can't put a timestamp on it. No, you need. You I think can't. you, you have no to way. go into it and go. This would this this would be really cool, but I know that this is incredibly hard to obtain. I need to have fun during it, mm. and then in the cruel way it's like the classic saying if you do you know you look for love you don't find it if you look for YouTube sensation you don't find it true enough if you do if you have fun and be and if I think if people can read that yeah that's the important I mean you know everyone spends god knows how much time on YouTube or video game tutorials or whatever when you come across someone that you know is not having fun you don't you don't relate yeah that's it which is what I think we've always wanted to be yeah, we're two totally average gamers, painters, whatever else. Like we, <laughs> we're not like really special or exponentially better at anything than anyone else. We're just two normal guys having fun when it comes to tiny plastic men and talking about rolling dice. That's yeah. what, and that is the core fundamental of this show in general. Yeah, you have um, you have to have fun, and like, we always wanted. I don't have the mental capacity to put on like a YouTube face. I don't. No, I don't have. I know. I know exactly why people do it, though. You need to to have that that yeah, healthy yeah. disconnect of this is the work me and this is the real me. I don't have the mental capacity at the moment to go. This is YouTube me. This is real me. This is real me. Yeah, and I, <laughs> I think I think the the fun thing as well is if you saw us out of context, as in not doing this. Not that you ever would, because um, we're in Kieran's house. Um, <laughs> but if you ever saw us out of context, you'd probably have the same conversation. You'd hear the same views and the same topics like we're now which is the most important thing because being authentic is literally our primary focus yeah and one last point thumbnails are really hard to make (laughs) but you smash it every time and especially your end in the christmas ones that that's wow as a a highlight for the year when i came up with that idea i was like this could be really really fun yeah this is special and then when i you know cut out all the faces and everything i was like oh this 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 did look cool. I mean, it might not do very well in terms of the YouTube algorithm, but I, ha- I had fun making that. Yeah, it was really, really cool. Um, to touch on like one of the last points, I think the community aspect, we've met some amazing people and spoken to some really, really yes. enlightening people over the last year, and it's been great. And like, don't want to name drop too many people, but... Um, Daddy Luton. Luton has been phenomenally helpful. He's actually turned into like the Kieran Show dad? Yeah, he really is. He's a, <laughs> yeah, he's a really, really, really nice guy. like him an awful lot. Um, and he's great to bounce off of. And I think, similar as obviously to echo what we said before, the guys at Poor Hammer, just that little shout out, which they really didn't have to do. Um, but it, We not, were in very... The, what, I think the humbling thing yeah. for me, we were in very esteemed company. Like They were... They were yeah. putting these names I was like I'm not even I don't I'm not even the same league as the I'm not even the same postcode no. as these people let alone anything else <laughs> yeah no it's incredibly humbling and it makes all the hard work you know all the more justified I suppose but again like it's yeah it's, it's really really nice really nice to sum it up YouTube is like golf have you ever played golf I hate golf too, so there it is. I hate golf, but every <laughs> time... I, every, let me get there, let me get there. <laughs> when you play golf, you have that one good shot. You're like, I'm amazing at golf, and that's why you go and play again. Right. That's YouTube. You have that one moment, yeah, this worked, I'll do it again. 
yeah, so our first video that actually launched was the golf shot, in your analogy, uh, was us stripping Warhammer. Yeah. We really worked hard on every other video except for that one. That was, I need to do this anyway for the <laughs> challenge video. And I'll just video it. Oh, it was... We were so, we we didn't stop talking about that for weeks. It was an it, it's it's an annoy, <laughs> it, 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 annoying is the wrong word because you know you're not annoyed that your video does well. It's it's yeah. annoying in the context context of well this video took three hours to edit. This video took me three days of my life not spending any time with my partner. Yeah, yeah, that's um, it. To finish it up, favorite video of the year. Favorite. Please, please say Underworld. <laughs> Underworld. I would really like to play Underworld again. Nobody, of, nobody's off interested. YouTube, off YouTube. I think just us privately just playing it and learning to play it I think would be fun for Skirmish Games. Um, yeah. Favourite episode of the year. That is wild. Um, do you have a, an idea? You can't deflect. I'd like to deflect. <laughs> that's, um, that's such a hard one. Leviathan, I think, for me. Even though I had such a horrendous time. Like, going back and watching it, I look at myself and go, what on earth are you doing? Yeah, no, that's true. Um, okay, off the back of that then, I think mine would be drawing the wheels, the wheel of misfortune. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that first, so we have got one last wheel of misfortune. It's we'll worse put, than all of the other ones. Worse than the others. Um, There's a reason we haven't done it yet. <laughs> yeah, it will probably be in January it or It has to be in February. January. We have to get it out of the way. Uh, um, crikey. Uh, in which case, it's coming soon. Uh, if you're watching this video, it's coming really soon. Um, it's not going to be fun, but yeah. No, but we already have that recorded because we recorded it months ago and it's a really weird preview video where we talk about past and future tense and it's a real mess. We were up very late that night. Um, makes more sense than Marvel. True. Yeah, true enough. Can't, can't disagree. Um, but yes, yeah, so we've got one last Wheel of Misfortune actually, but they... The just... challenges aren't going away, but I think they are going to move into... Yeah. I would actually like to paint this one. The com I, yeah. Well... I say that, I think the Combat Patrol Wheel of Misfortune will come back. Yeah, I've still got it on my phone. It's not going anywhere. It's going to, I think we'll do a, maybe one or two more of those next year. And I think that's all, I think mean, we'll always have that on the back burner for yeah. as long as we do it. Just because it's fun to watch us in pain, I guess. Um, yeah. And we'll, obviously we'll do another army box next year as well because that was really fun. I really enjoyed that. Oh, we could do, we, I'll tell you what we could do. Um, Sigmar is getting its next... Um, I'll tell you what, people have been asking oh, for wow, Sigmar yeah. content. 12 hours, let's go. To be fair... Not going to happen. <laughs> that being said, actually, like, we've had quite a lot of people ask for Sigmar. Like, we love painting AOS. Love it. Minis are fantastic. Yeah, um, if, if that's something you want to see, like some more Sigmar-orientated challenges, like, please, yeah, let, uh, let us know down below because we'd love to. Um, but yeah, um, games, I think we are going to... Pause for a minute, just until we sort I of think just just to regulate be, setup. Yeah, just to be real, is that there are people out there that nail battle reports, and I wouldn't watch hours over there. It's like you know, you've got your tabletop tactics, yeah. you've got Liam Dempsey with his streaming. You've, there are people that do it better. I wouldn't watch our battle reports. I mean, with their, you know, please go and watch them, but <laughs> <laughs> watch ours, but don't. <laughs> there are better. There are better ones, and I think we're going to put a pause on those until not until we get to the same level because I don't think it's going to happen. But I think no, 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 just a bit more. They need a bit more work. A bit more work. The the problem I have when it comes to editing battle reports is that again, it's I don't want them to be an hour or an hour and a half because there are people that do an hour, an hour and a half, and they're better. Yeah, so I have to cut them well. down to make them more bite sized. But then the trouble with that is you then cut. Too much personality out of it. Yeah. Well, there's so many arguments we've had that I've had to go. No, I'm going to have to cut this out because <laughs> this video will be really long. So I think I think generally with uh, battle reports, we we'll probably end up going through like a live stream thing in the future. I think just because you get everything then. I think we'll do, I think we'll mix and match them. Um, something a bit more fun. Something I would like to do actually is skirmish games. So I mean, like underworld. <laughs> well, no, maybe not otherwise because that didn't land but maybe give Kill Kill Team a bash like maybe definitely give Warcry a bash because I think you'll really like Warcry a lot. I love the Warcry but the terrain for Warcry is, is fantastic but it's just it's like yeah that's, there's so much the, the, the problem with really this great. and it's the problem with Warhammer and games I mean the game in general there are so many things I'd like to play mm. like I'd love to play uh, Titanicus that's like Kieran's Corner <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I don't like. You don't that. like Titans, but I. Well, I, it's, it's, it's Titans it's and so... Epic. I just don't get it. I don't get it. We. I, I agree on Epic. Yeah, I don't. But get it. 
Titanicus, it, for me, is five Rob me in my bedroom with like Transformers smashing them together, going, yeah. this is cool. Yeah, I get it. Um, it does make sense. I, I know that we, uh, yeah, we've certainly said a lot and done a lot over the last year, but we'd love to know what your thoughts are down below. Um, yeah. Truthfully, I ne- the, we're at the time of recording about 3,000 subscribers. That's about 2,800 more than I thought we'd get in our first year. I thought... That- yeah. Yeah, that, I mean, I know, I know, we we thought we might get some bleed through, but that was just oh, that's you know, if it happens, but organically, we're like, I think it's going to take a while, mm. but it's mad. Um, it's, it's crazy looking at the stats as well. It turns out our biggest uh, subscriber and viewer base is over in the states. So big up to the US of A. Love you guys. That's very very cool of you. Um, which is nuts, actually. Yeah, two British people that are into war gaming. I watch them. Yeah. Why do you like? Why do you like us? Weird. Don't put don't that don't open that. that don't uh, open uh, that door. Don't do that. <laughs> but yeah, no, it's it's been an absolute riot. Um, Let us know anything you'd like to see us tackle in year two of the Kieran Show, which is wild. To I'm gonna, say, isn't it? I'm gonna wild. put it out there now. If we do get to when we get to ten thousand ten thousand subscribers, if long term viewers, you you I can say by your face, you know what I'm gonna say. Long term viewers, our first video, I mentioned a Warhound Titan series. If we ever get to 10k, we will both do a Warhound Titan. If it right, if we 10k, to, if, and I'll also release pictures of us at school. <laughs> oh <laughs> maybe wow! Not, maybe not. <laughs> All right, yeah. Well, that's enough to encourage you. All right, for for 10k, you can see what I look like at school, <laughs> and spoiler alert, it looks, paint, the, it looks the same. Yeah, it's the same. Um, <laughs> just a better haircut, and then uh, Warhound Titan as well. Fine. 10k seems fine. Oh, Three in a year. Normally doubles, doesn't it? Yeah, so in theory, year two will be six. Then we will get then we'll get to twelve in year three, if that's if that by your maths. Yeah, that checks out. That, that's that's right. It gives us enough time to save up and then to release a better version of the Warhound <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, they'll be we'll buy one and they'll be like, and we got it in plastic. And we're like, God damn it. Um but yeah, no. What are your expectations for year two? What would you like to do? Um, more challenges. Um, I do. I, I, as much as I've had the rough ride with them, they are fun. They um, are fun. Even if it's just sitting watching films for <laughs> films for a yeah, day. Yeah, that's true. It's a nice break from adult life to indulge my like later teen years. Well, of... it's, it's your inner child, isn't it? It's like healing. Yeah, yeah it's nice. I but think a really soppy, soppy, sappy. Oh, I don't know what's going on. One thing I want to accomplish in year two is a better work-life balance. So work. Yeah. Work hobby and yeah, hobby yeah. balance. I think I need to nail that, I get that. down. Um, we need to buy another laptop so someone can do some editing so I don't have to do all of it. But... Yeah, long overdue. Long overdue. What about you? Um, I, I'd like for us to get out and do some more events. I think some more Warhammer World bits would be very, very fun. Um, obviously, we found out we can't do Bristol GT next year because it's your wedding, which is... Can't wait to dance like an ultimate white girl. That's gonna be <laughs> lush. Love me a wedding. Be yeah, fun. Um, we'll we'll definitely be going to a throne of skulls next year because that mm. was so fun. I'd um, also like to do an AOS event. I'd like to. Let's get AOS on. We painted first. Well, true, but I'd like for for I mean I know how to play, but you to learn, and then we yeah. can do some do some AOS games and stuff as well. That we we'll really have a world stack do as well. <gasps> Whole baby. Yeah, come along. Give you a date. <laughs> <laughs> Get them all involved. Um, but yeah, it'll be very, very fun for year two. I can't believe it's been a year already. Here's to the next five. Yeah. And <laughs> a small comment on how many haircuts we've gone through this year. You've gone through about ten, I've gone through two. Yeah. That's which just... is hilarious. Yeah, you know what? It, I think it's because I got married last year and suddenly I've just gone... <laughs> <laughs> just, just shave it all off. But yeah, let us know what your favourite video has been so far. Um... Favourite moments, um, I imagine a lot of the favourite moments will be when I drew the two and had to paint black again. <laughs> so um, good. Speaking of black, we actually ran out. <laughs> yeah, we did run out. Yeah. Well, we no, no. Some more. Um, yeah, no, thank you once again for your unwavering support in the last year. It's been an absolute dream to have you on board. Um, couldn't have done it without you. Um, Literally. Yeah. Uh, likes, comments, subscribes, all of the regular things um, that you all do so well. Um, and we will see you for year two.